That's twice already. They're waiting for you.
three, folks. Waba ahead. Score is not tied. 4-4. Four, four. Ahead is now five to four. Portland six, Guava four. Number four serving for Portland. Point Guava, the score is six five, I believe. They haven't changed, yes. Officially now I can say six five. He said he didn't see you here, so why don't I go ahead and start? Okay. Uh -huh. Score is tied, 6-6. Six, six. Wava server number four, number four serving. High game, 7-7, seven, seven, Portland 24 serving. Point, Portland, and it is now 8-7 with Portland number 24 serving. Portland now pulls ahead by two points. Nine to seven, Portland, and player number 24 for Portland is serving. Goes ahead by three points. Score is Portland 10, Wava 7. Wava takes a timeout. I'm not sure, folks, if that's their first timeout. I would think so, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I didn't. I didn't get here until after the game had already started. They get two timeouts per game, so this is Wava's first timeout, I believe. Scores again is now 11 to 7. Player number 24 is still serving for Portland. Oh. 
Lava breaks that string of uh, serves by Portland player number 24. Score now is uh, Portland 11, Lava 8. Lava player number 3 serve. Portland gets the ball back immediately. Scores the point. It is now 12 to 8. Portland ahead with player number 21 serving. Out of bounds on the spike. Portland score is 13, Wava 8. Player number 21 serving again for Portland. Wava gets a spike kill and we uh, now have the score being Wava 9, Portland 13. Lava player number 14 serving. Good block there by Lava. Score now becomes 10 to 13. Lava player number 14 serving for Lava. Spike through the block. I think that was player number seven. If my yep, player number seven had that good spike through the block, and player number five is serving for Portland. Portland ahead, 14 to 10. Player number four gets a spike and point for Portland. Spike kill. Portland now, 15, Rava 10. Portland scores on the serve. It's now 16, Portland, 10 for Rava. I believe it's 16. I uh, don't see the scoreboard changing, but I think it's 16. If I'm wrong, it's 15, 10. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know as soon as it is. Rava scores again, that's 11. The score is 15 for Portland. So the score is 11 to 15, Wava with 11. Player number 11 is serving for Wava. Block again by Wava. They score again. That is 12 to. Well, the scorekeeper is finally adjusting to 16. I was right. It's now 12 to 16. Portland scores, gets the serve. It is now 17 to 12, Portland. You guys know if this is a Hey guys, is this the second shot or the third, you know, first? Guava 13, Portland 17, Guava player number one serving. Lava scores 14 to 17. Timeout Portland. Portland is leading 17 to 15. I think that's one timeout per team. They each have one more timeout if they wish to use it. 
score once again. Portland 17, Wava 15. Wava is the Washington uh, Volleyball Academy. It's located in Linwood, Washington. I wish I knew more about this Portland team, but I don't. I'm um, not sure what part of Portland they're from. Wava serving. Server is number one. Portland player 24 gets a kill spike, scores a point for Portland. It's now 18 to 15. on the serve, Wava 16, Portland 18, Wava player number five is serving. Wava scores. 17 Wava, 18 Portland, player number five continues to serve. Four hits, ball was never really over the net. It is now tied, 18 to 18, player number five serving for Wava. Sir, that was a spike kill there by player number 21 for Portland. They pull back ahead by one point, 19 to 18. game again, 19-19. Wava player number four serves. Spike kill there by Portland player number 24. That scores a point for them. They're back in the lead by one point. 2019 Portland serving, Portland player number 24 serving. Point to Portland, gives them a two-point lead. 21-19, player number 24 still serving for Portland. Wava comes back, scores a point. They are now behind 20 to 21. Wava serving. Wava serves into the net. Portland scores. Scorekeeper has changed the score. I believe it's 22 to 20, Portland. Portland player number 21 is serving. I'll notify you if that score is incorrect, but I think it's 22-20, Portland. Ah, Wava scores. It's 21 for Wava. I believe the score is 22-21, Portland.
Lava scores again. It's 22. The scorekeeper continues to have 21 for Portland, but I think it's 22. Out of bounds on that spike by the Wava player. Score now is... Now the scorekeeper has 22-22. Maybe I am incorrect. Maybe she's right then. They're showing the scores being 22-22. With that play, Portland scores another point. It now becomes 20... 23-22 Portland. Sorry, folks, I must have messed up on my score because I thought Portland had another point. It's now 23-23 tied. Sorry I was giving you the wrong scores before, but I just thought there was a point there that Portland had they hadn't put up, but I must have been in error. Horton has a block on that spike. That gives them a game point. Serve 24-23. A point scored. The line judgment had set in. Uh, the referee overruled and said it was uh, not in. It was out. Therefore, Portland scores the point. It's 25-23. Portland wins the first set. schedules on the papers then because they had me starting 11. That seems strange. It's it. They usually have a starting at the time that the game comes on. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. I just was confused as to what was... <laughs> I'm supposed to give them the score and who's got what set. Yeah, the uh, scorekeeper wasn't cracking No, and she confused me a couple of times and I was saying, wait, I think this is a score, but it's not official. The last point, did, did she crack the score the last point? Because they, they had about three or four more serves. I know. And I was trying to get their attention over there because I thought for sure they were off. Yeah. Yeah. She had done that once before, and I kept telling the audience, I think this is a score. <laughs> it's not official. It's the same one. They can't see the scoreboard. It's a tough, tough way to end the game. Yeah, it is. Well, it turns out that call that was made on the last play, that play should not have happened. Uh, and once again, I was accurate about the score. The referee had determined that uh, Portland should have already won the game uh, with a score of 25 to 23. Um, so I'm sorry, folks. I just didn't notice that the scoreboard, um, well, I noticed the scoreboard was probably wrong, <laughs> but they kept indicating that they were right, and uh, the referee finally corrected them. Anyway, the first set goes to Portland. They had one set to zero over Wava. This means that uh, Portland wins this set. They will also win the match. First uh, team to win two sets is the winner of the match. Portland scores the first point. 
It's now 1-0, Portland. Well, it changed the score sheet, but I'm glad. Lava has a kill on that spike. Didn't even look like the blockers responded. However, um, it's now tied 1-1. One, one. Player number one for Wava had that uh, spike and kill. Player number 11 serving for Wava. Ball really never went over the net. Spike went into the net. Wava scores again. It's now two to one Wava with player number 11 serving. Wava scores. It's now 3-1 Wava. Passing errors on uh, Portland. They uh, lose that point. Points for Wava. Wava leads four to one. Player number eleven still serving. Out of bounds, spike. But there was a touch. The Wava block touched that ball. So even though the spike went out of bounds, it's uh, a point for Portland. Portland behind two to four. Portland player number 23 serving. Out of bounds spike on the uh, Wava side. Portland scores again. It's now three to four. Portland. Point on the uh, serve. It is now four to four, tied game. Portland serving at number 23. Spike kill by player number 14, I believe. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I may be giving the wrong uh, credit there. It might have been number five. No, I think it was number five that had that spike kill. Player number. One serve for Waba. Waba is ahead 5 4. Out of bounds, spike. Waba scores again. It is now 6 to 4. Clear number one serving again for Waba. Wava scores that point. It is seven to four Wava. Player number one continues to serve. They uh, called the ball or the spike into the net, not a block, so therefore it is Portland's point. Portland now uh, serving, five to seven. Number four for Portland serves. Fortunately, her ball was served out of bounds. That will give the uh, point to Wava. Wava serving, number five serving. Score eight to five for Wava. Wava scores on that point. Nine to five. Wava, player number five serving. Uh, serve into the net. 
service there that creates a point for Portland. Portland ahead or behind, excuse me, Portland behind, six to nine. Player number 24 serving for Portland. Spike into the net. Portland scores. Portland seven, Waba nine. Player number 24 serving for Portland. Into the net, service error gives a point to Waba. Waba now ahead 10 to seven. Player number four serving for Waba. Spike scores off the block. It's now eight to 10, Portland. Player number 21 serving. Touch on that uh, spike, and Waba scores the point. Player in the back row did touch that spike, so therefore it is uh, a Waba point, and it is player number three serving for Waba with the score 11 to eight. Block on that spike and Wava scores. It is now 12 to 8, Wava. Spike off the block, scores for Portland. It's now 9 to 12, Portland uh, behind. Player number five serving for Portland. Passing error by Wava gives the point to Portland. 10 to 12, Portland behind. Player number five serving for Portland. That's a Portland point. Referee is calling that the ball was, when it was spike, was never over in the net. That there was no block, it, the ball was never over in the net. Portland scores the point, 11 to 12. Serve reception error again for Wava. It is now a tied game, 12 to 12. Out of bounds, there was no touch on that. Wava is now behind, 12 to 13. Portland ahead. Oh, a dink that dropped in front of the uh, Portland player. We have a tie game, 13-13. Looks like this might be a close one. First set, for those of you who may join us, was won by Portland. So they are ahead, one set to none.
out of bounds on the spike attempt. Scores a point for Portland, and it's now 14-13. Point for Waba. They scored on that spike that um, hit, the, uh, hit the block and went out of bounds. Tie game, 14-14, number 11 now serving for Waba. Blocked by Lava on the uh, spike attempt. It is now 15 to 14, Lava. hit the antenna, which is uh, out of bounds. Therefore, uh, Lava scores, 16-14 Lava ahead. Portland decides to take a timeout. Coach has called a timeout. That's their first timeout in this set. They still have one more timeout if they wish to take it. Lava has not taken any timeouts. They had two timeouts available. Once again, score is 16-14 Lava. First set taken by Portland. Point scored by Portland. Brings the game only one point differential. It's now 15 Portland, Wava 16. Player number 23 serving for Portland. Wava scores on a spike kill by number one, and number one is now serving. Score, Wava 17, Portland 15. Spike hit a, a partial block as well as the back uh, player, so Portland does score on that, and the score is now 16-17. Waba decides to take a timeout, so each team now has taken one timeout in this set. Score is Waba 17, Portland 16. is Portland 16, Wava 17, player number four serving for Portland. Point for Portland, we have a tied game, 17-17, player number four is serving. Out of bounds serve. Service error causes Portland to lose the serve and give a point to Lava. It's now 18-17 Lava. Player number five serving. Out of bounds, Lava server. We're tied again, 18-18. Portland player number 24 served that. Spike went off the block and out of bounds, so it's point for Waba. 
That was player number six for Wava hitting that spike. And player number four is now serving for Wava. Score, Wava 19, 18 Portland. Bad passing on that case of the serve, and Wava scores another point. It's 2018. Player number 20 or player number four serving for Wava. Spike fell in bounds. Wava scores another point. 21-18. Wava. Player number four continues to serve. <laughs> Served by player number four for Wava. Dink. Almost fell, but a great effort there by the libero for Wava, number 18. Have a score now of is it 1921? 19 to 21. Portland serving. Wava ahead. Player number 21 serving for Portland. Number 11, the spiker got that point for Wava. It is now 22-19, hitting it off the block. Spike inbounds for Portland. They score, and now it is 20 to 22. And player number four, excellent spike. Spiked around the block and went down the line. Wava could not get it. It is now 21-22. Wava ahead. Portland serving. Timeout taken by Wava. That is their last timeout. We Portland has one more timeout to take if they wish to. Portland serving, player number five serving. Number one gets the spike down. It's now Wava 23, Portland 21. Wava's got to win this set if they want to keep the match going. Portland won the first set. Match winner has to win by, um, has to win uh, two sets. Looks like Portland took their final timeout now. Once again, the score is Wava 23, Portland 21. Both coaches for both teams now have taken their allotted timeouts. They cannot take any more timeouts. So no more timeouts in this set. Wava player number 14 ready to serve and is serving. Out of bounds, tipped by the spiker over the block. However, went out of bounds. Wava scores. It is game point for Wava. Player number 14 serving. Score is 24-21.
spike. Spiker number uh, 16 went through the blocks. blockers right between them, cut the butter between the two blockers. It is now 22 Portland, 24 Wava, and player number 16 is serving. Ah, Wava gets that game point. Wins 25-22, sets up the deciding set. This set will only go to 15 points. It'll be 15 points for the winner on this set. They still have to win by two, but they only have to go to 15. You'll also notice that the teams will rotate courts when one of the teams scores eight points. That just means that they'll switch sides. We'll see the one team um, moving to the other end as, as the other team does as well. They still have two timeouts. The coaches wish to use that in this third and deciding set. Starting the third set, 0-0, Portland player number five serves the ball in. Linesman called that ball in, and we have a score of 1-0, Portland. Player number five continues to serve. That ball was served out. Score is now 1-1. One one. Player number four serving for Wava. Score two to one Waba after that spike goes out of bounds and the uh, defensive player of the back line of Portland. Player number four is now serving for Waba. Score is now tied. Waba two, Portland two. Portland player number 16 serving. Set way too wide and out of bounds. Horton Spiker couldn't get to that. It is now Wava serving with uh, player number three. Score, Wava three, 
Portland two. Good block there by number one on Wava. Scores is now four to two Wava. Player number three serving. Out of bounds serve. Portland gets the point on that one, and that makes the score Portland three, Wava four. Player number 23 serving for Portland. Scores now tied at 4-4. Portland player number 23 serving. Out of bounds. Spike was out of bounds. Portland scores again and scores now 5-4. Serve and hit the net. Score is now 6 4, Portland. 23 continues to serve. Ball was in. Score is now Portland 7, Lava 4. Portland player number 23 continues to serve. Spike was down, hit the floor before the player touched it. Wava scores that point. It is Wava 5, Portland 7. Player number 14 serving for Wava. Spike was deflected out of bounds. Spike scored the point. We are now six to seven. Wava behind with player number four from Wava serving. Down on that spot. Player number six for Wava, or excuse me, player number five for Wava. Hit that spike down and got it right down the line. It is now a tight score, 7-7. Seven, seven. Wava player number 14 serving. Great save there by Wava's number four. Okay, they called the net. Called a net on the Wava blockers. Scores now Portland 8, Wava 7. As you can see, they're changing courts. Change courts on the final set. Final set's played to 15. At the time that one team scores 8, they change courts. Portland serving. Portland player number 4. Lava gets another spike down. Um, I believe the score is eight to eight. Sorry, I'm confused on the score because the scorekeeper is showing something different than what I think it is. I believe it is eight to eight. Portland's 
scores that point. It is now nine to eight. The scorekeeper now has what I, I thought the score was. It is now nine to eight, Portland. Wava calls a timeout. It's her first timeout, I believe, in this set. Winner of this set wins the match. Each team has won one set. This is the tiebreaker. Once again, they only play the 15 points. If you can get a two or three point lead and uh, be in double digits with your score, you're driving the, uh, the truck down the road at that point commanding lead because you only have to go to 15. So if uh, Portland can get this score, that uh, that really makes the task even more difficult for Wava. But let's uh, let's see here what happens. Portland player number 24 serving. And that was out of bounds. However, it was touched. Touched by Portland, so Wava scores a point, and we got a tie game, nine to nine. This may go right down the line. Portland scores on that uh, block attempt by uh, Wava, which didn't succeed. Spiker number 21 scored on that point. We now have Server being Portland 21. Score at this point is Portland 10, Wabin 9. Dink, and it works. Portland could not get that back up in the air. It is now 10 10. Tied score, Wabin player number 5 serving. Well, with the score now, Wava 11, Portland 10. Portland calls their first time out. That was a good call by the Portland coach for a timeout at this point. Crucial point now coming up here with the score 11 to 10, Wava. They scored 12 to 10, that puts them in the driver's seat, so that was a good call. She's hoping to stop the momentum of the uh, server on this. Server number five for Wava is now serving. Wava 11, Portland 10. This is the third set, the tiebreaker. Over. Spike never made it over for Wava. We've got a tied game, 11-11. Portland player number five serving. Dink. Spiker one up, tipped with Aura Dink. The ball and Player number four for Wava scored on that. Player number four is also serving now, and we have a score with Wava leaving by one point of 12 to 11. Down, it was in. Linesman called that ball in, so <coughs> score is now tied again. Portland player number 16 is going to be serving. Going down to the wire at the end. Oh. Horton decided not to play that ball even though their blocker had touched it. Ball went out of bounds, but after the touch, Wava scores the point. It is now 13 to 12. Wava with player number three serving. <coughs>
Wava scores 14 to 12. Game point for Wava. Portland calls a timeout. It's the only thing she can do at this point with this with it being game point for Wava and the score at 14-12. This is gonna be a, a real challenge now for Portland. If Portland happens to score two more points, team will have to, either team will still have to win by two points. 15 will not be the winning score then. However, at this point, with the game point, Lava scores, and um, on this serve, it's going to be 15-12, and Lava will win the set and match. Portland gets that point. It's now 13 to 14. Portland behind. Lava player 23 serving. Fourteen, fourteen tie. Wouldn't you know this would go all the way down the line. Therefore, somebody is going to have to win by two at this point. Fifteen doesn't do it. Winning team will have to win by two. Robin scores that point. Fifteen, fourteen. Scores the points. Now 15-15. Tied again. Spike. Spike hits the ball off the block. Block goes out of bounds. Portland scores the point, 16-15. Player number four for Portland is serving Gabe Hoyt. Out of bounds. Set was wide. Portland wins it, 17-15. That last set was so wide, the striker couldn't get the ball back into the court. Hit the antenna. Ball hit the antenna. Therefore, Portland scores it, and it is their not only that set, but their match. They win, two sets to one. Very close match. 17-15, final score for Portland. 